On this page, I can see a list of orders for my online e-commerce business. But one thing that might be particularly useful for my team is to be able to see some of this orders data in charts so that we can more easily do analysis and see how our business is doing. To add a chart with orders data information, I'm going to toggle on edit mode using my keyboard shortcut command E. And I'm going to click to add a new collection view. And I want to show data from the orders collection. So instead of the default tables view, I'm going to click to surface the builder sidebar. And under the display options, I'm going to choose the charts layout. By default, we see that one chart has been added. And if I click in to edit this chart, I can change the setup. For example, I can choose different types of charts between line charts, bar charts, area charts, pie charts, funnel charts, as well as radar charts. The first type of chart I want to add should show the cost of orders by fulfillment date. So for this one, I think a line chart will work best. I'm going to choose my x-axis value, which is the fulfill by date. Then I'm going to choose the y-axis value by editing the series here. And for this, I'm going to choose the total cost field. When looking at the time period, I'm going to choose to group by day. And under summary, I want to sum the values. I'm going to give my chart a title, that is cost of orders by fulfillment date. And I could give it a subtitle as well, cost of orders by date. And if I wanted, I could add x-axis and y-axis labels. Finally, I might want to decide that this chart should take up the full width of the screen. That looks a lot better. If I toggle off edit mode, I can then see my full chart here. And as a user, I can hover over any of the data points here to see the fulfillment date and the relevant cost on that date. So far, I've added one chart to this page, but I can easily add others as well. If I toggle on edit mode and surface the builder sidebar again, on the left-hand side here, I can either add more charts or simply duplicate the existing chart. I'm going to add another chart. Here. And as I've chosen a display option for a collection view here, all these charts should be pulling in data from the same collection, the orders table in my Postgres database. I'm going to go ahead and configure my second chart here. This time I want to show the total sales by customer. And I'm going to make this a bar chart. For the x-axis, I'm going to choose the customer name. So I go to the customer related record collection here and choose the customer name. And for the y-axis then, I'm going to choose total cost again. Again, this might look a little bit squished, so I'm going to use a full width chart here. If I toggle off edit mode, I can see that my dashboard has now started to take shape. If I hover over a particular customer here, I can see the total sales by that customer. One thing I might want to do is show charts with data from different collections on the same dashboard page. But with this orders collection view, I'm only able to show data from the orders collection. If I want to instead create a dashboard with data from different collections, I'd have to add a blank page instead. To do this, I'm going to enable edit mode using my keyboard shortcut command E and click to add a blank page here. As you can see, I've got several different options for different elements, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a chart. Here, one difference between the collection view chart display option and adding a chart to a blank page is on a blank page, I have the opportunity to choose which data collection the chart should read data from. So in this instance, I might want to initially choose the orders table, and I can configure the chart to show the cost of orders by fulfillment date. And for this one, we said we chose the fulfill by date as the x-axis, and for the y-axis, we just chose the total cost. But on a blank page, I can also pull in a chart with data from a different collection. So I'm going to add one other chart here. And this time I'm going to say that I want to show data from the products collection in my Postgres database. What I'd like to show here is a chart that displays the cost and sales price of different products. So I'm going to go ahead and start configuring my chart here. And this time I'm going to choose a bar chart as opposed to a line chart. And for the x-axis, I'm simply going to choose the product name. And this time I'm going to set multiple series, the first of which I want to show the unit cost of a product. And then I'm going to add one more series. And this time I'm going to show the sales price. This is looking a little bit too bunched together. So I'm going to say that this chart should take up the full width of the screen. And maybe I don't want to focus on 
all products here. Maybe I only want to see those that have a cost above a particular value. For example, 1,500. So I'm gonna go back here and choose to filter these records so that I only look at products whose unit cost is greater than 1,500. Now that's looking a lot clearer. Now my team can use this chart to see the difference between the cost and sales price for different products at a glance. They can see which products have a higher margin and which have a lower margin. The final thing to point out with charts is that we can also add visibility rules to determine when a chart should be visible to different users by their user role or by custom visibility rules as well. So that's how you can use the charts collection display option to show charts with data from the same collection and use blank pages to show charts from different collections on one dashboard.